Hey YouTube, it is Chivas Jorge90, otherwise from here on out known as the Techspert. I'm doing a complete revamp to my channel. Uh, I'm going to be pumping out two weeks, uh, sorry, two videos a week minimum. Uh, it's going to include hacks, tips, and tricks for your Droid, your iPhone, your iPad, and app reviews. Eventually, I'm going to get into video game and video game commentary. Uh, but let's take it one step at a time. Uh, right now, I am uh, redoing my video on how to enable a disabled iPod Touch. Main reason was the last one was really bad audio, really bad quality, really bad editing in general. Um, so sorry about that, guys. Let's go ahead and get this redone for you. Um, so what you want to do is once you have this iPod that is locked for however many uh, minutes it's locked. Mine was locked for about 20 million minutes. Uh, people out there have been locked for longer. See, once you have that iPod, you put it into DFU mode. If you do not know what DFU mode is, go ahead and click the link I'm going to put in the video right now. It'll send you straight there. And uh, once you're ready, uh, come back and uh, uh, plug in your iPod into the computer. Uh, your iPod name should pop up here in the devices category. What you want to do is go to that devices category. Basically, this little tab right here has every piece of information your iPod has. Uh, but we're, what we're interested in right now in this video is the little category right here that says version. Now right here it's pretty simple. All you have to do is hit this uh, restore button and then you are done. Uh, iTunes will take care of the rest. If you do need to download an iPod Touch software update, that will appear under the downloads category right here. Uh, a little bar will pop up. It'll download the update for you. You don't need to do anything. It's going to go ahead and launch the update by itself apply it to your iPod and continue restoring your iPod. Now the thing to note about this is the restore will take away not just the password on your iPod but it's going to take away your data. That includes your games, your music, uh, anything you had on your iPod is now gone. Normally that's not a big of a deal. You just connect it uh, straight back into iTunes, sync up with your library again, and then uh, if you bought any, uh, any music or videos or whatever you bought from iTunes, uh, no need to worry, uh, iTunes keeps a record of that uh, through your account. So all I have to do is go to store, sign in, re-download everything, it's not going to cost you a dime again uh, since you already paid for it. And uh, you are done, you are restored. Again, please leave me. Please make sure to leave a comment, rate and subscribe in the, in the comment section below. And uh, I'll keep you guys informed. Thank you for watching.